Now at 4 o'clock, more trouble on the boardwalk, this time in North Wildwood. A man is recovering today after being beaten outside of an arcade. His family says he was defending his girlfriend at the time. Police have now released new photos in hopes of identifying his attackers. It is Monday afternoon. I'm Brian Tapp. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is that violent altercation in North Wildwood on Saturday night. The 22-year-old victim is now back home after being sent to the hospital. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman spoke with family members today. She's live now in North Wildwood with the story. Trish. Well, Brian, Sarah, we spoke with that young man. Parents today, they say their 22-year-old son suffered a concussions and bruises after an altercation on the boardwalk here in North Wildwood this weekend. North Wildwood police are hoping to identify these suspects after an assault on the boardwalk Saturday evening. Like any father, I did, all I did was just wanted to protect my son. And but when that guy kicked him in the face, that was that just that was it. Kenneth Golombiewski says it was the last night of his family's trip to North Wildwood when his 22 year old son was assaulted on the boardwalk. Police say the assault happened at 26th Avenue on the boardwalk, but haven't released details about what led to the assault. Golombiewski says his son told him he was in a nearby arcade with his girlfriend when a group of people approached them and a verbal altercation turned physical. The kid was all in his face, and I just ran over there and I pushed this kid out of the way. So what, and I said, you know, uh, I'm being pushed and shoved around. Golombiewski's son ended up on the ground. And he kicks Lucas dead in the face. I'm like, oh my God. So I went to try to chase this kid. I thought, no, let me stay here with Lucas. And these bystanders were chasing him. One of the workers at the arcade heard the scuffle. A bunch of screaming and adults hollering, get that kid. They were chasing him down the boardwalk and then down the street. Police released these surveillance images of two suspects, hoping someone can help identify them as they investigate the aggravated assault. Workers nearby saw the aftermath. Someone laying on the bench and then cops coming around and then they uh, brought an ambulance up and they took him down on the stretcher. Uh, we're told the man who was sent to the hospital is resting at home now. Anyone with any information is asked to contact North Wildwood detectives. We're live in North Wildwood, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Yeah, really clear images of those suspects. It's only a matter of time. Trish, thank you.